Hello, and welcome back to Subnautica. This is episode 8, and I would like to, des to dedicate this episode to Ro Biscuit. She's a big fan of the show, and so we're going to continue it in her honor. Okay, it's very dark in there. It just got very dark in here all of a sudden everywhere. That's... That's interesting. Fair enough. Then let us shine some light on the subject. Actually, let's let's start to return. I've been reviewing the videos, uh, you know, and editing them and getting them ready to post, and I have paid attention to what life pods I've gone to. Oof, I don't like that anomaly at all. Okay, so I've paid attention to the life pods that I've already been to, and those life pods are 6, 7, and 8. And while the first two didn't really have anything of value, I got this really nice compass from the very last one. I don't recall which one it was. So, I think we should, uh, we should follow some of these signals. Now... One of the signals I went to that I've, because I found a couple in chests, one of them wasn't to a life pod. It was actually to, I believe it said a heat signature, was all that it said. That was the only description that came with it. And while I was intrigued to check it out, it seemed to be in very, very deep water. So we've, we likely will not be... We'll not be going to that one. But I would like to check out some of these other signals. So what do we have on us currently? We have the heat signature. Well, I don't want that one. That's what I was just saying. Let's see what else we have. Geological formation could be interesting. Life pod 6, I went to. 7, I went to. 8, possible cave opening. Sure. And 17. All right, and we'll put the heat signature back. And we'll just, we'll just check these out. If, I mean, it's something to go off of instead of just randomly looking for salvage. Um, and some water. And I have a little bit of food. Won't have to worry about it yet. A couple first aid kits. This is good. I'm going to put the base fabricator, or the habitat builder. Same, same diff, I suppose. And these empty batteries, or one empty battery for now. Okay, that's fine. Two tanks of air, because I want to be able to... Oh, and it's night time. All right, well... Well, we're going to do this anyways. So let's... Um, let's try Life Pod 17. Let's see what this other... How far away is it? Oh, it's... You know, it's not even really all that far. Although I believe in that direction. If I'm not mistaken. West. Oh, that's deep water. Well, hopefully it's still floating on the surface. If not, oh, I don't even know. The cave opening, I'm sure, is going to be deep. I'd like to build up to that one. Possible geological formation, that could be interesting. Uh, let's see how far away that one is. And that one is much further away, and it appears to be lower as well. Okay, so... Cave opening? Might as well see. If it's close by, we might just go cave exploring. And it's pretty far too. So, Life Pod 17 it is. Sounds like a, a good place to get started at the very least. Um, so what I can get rid of, this empty battery, I can put one of these back. And then... Silver, gold, vending machines, all of these neat things. I don't really want to get rid of any of them. I guess, you know what, I'll take a flare. Sure. Multi-realizable underwater light source, why not? Why not? You never know when you need one, right? Plus, maybe it's a lot brighter than the flashlight. Oh. Oh, goodness. Ugh, you know what? I, uh, pause this real fast. Nope. Alright. We're back. Sorry about that. 
let's see if I can get one of you, yes. And some more food and water. Why not? It's like a little little my little personal farm area here. Oh, he thinks he's gonna get away. Come on! Dang it! Oh, and he was right. Look at all these wonderful delicacies of the deep. Mmm. Alright, so we're just letting a little bit of daylight pass. I'm getting some of these basic needs taken care of. And then... Then we're going to go after Life Pod 17. I would just like it to be a little bit of daylight. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, not a ton. Just enough. Okay, I would like a lot of daylight, but... Point stands. We're going to let it brighten up a little bit. I would like some salt, or else my my delicacies will not stay good for very long. Yeah, in fact, I need to get some salt. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't just siphon the salt out of the water. Although I suppose if the water contamination is really high, that would cause a problem. Oof, stay away from me. No, no, no. Ugh, and he still got me. Ah. Frustrating. Frustrating. That's what it is. That's the word that comes to mind. Wow, normally there's salt with these, uh, these little mushroom patches here. They're making their calls to me. Are they trying to befriend me? Should I try to speak whale? A gasopod. I don't see any salt over this way. Okay, well, let's process what we have. I don't want to um, waste too much more time. Not with the daylight here. I want to go check out Life Pod 17. So, we'll go inside here. We'll process some of this into water and food. The bladder fish are nice. It's a easy. It's small, a small amount of water, but it's it's easy to get it. You don't need anything else. Oof! Do I really need? Let's let's cure the peeper, and then we'll cook the rest of it to eat right now. That's what we'll do. Cooked with lasers. Good eating around the cartilaginous fins. Cartilaginous, cartilage, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Filtered water. Yum. Cooked boomerang. Cur... Oh, no, I ate the cured one. Oh, whatever. That's just great. Okay, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. We've got a good amount of supplies. Let's, um... Let's check out Life Pod 17. It's not too far. Hopefully the water won't be too deep. I say that hopefully. Okay, here we go. Uh, so it appears to be down at the bottom. It doesn't appear to be on the surface, just judging by the indications. Oh, getting a little deep. Red grass. I'm a little bit okay with the red grass. It's not my first choice, but, you know. Ooh! Stay away from me! I just want some of this salt for future references. Oh, leave me be. Leave me be. Please leave me be. Oh, please don't get much deeper than this. I can work with this. This is, whoa, what? What is this madness here? 
Oh, this is this is the jackpot. This is much more than a life pod. Oh man, this is oh, already already fruitful. If that's all we get, this was worth it. I'm gonna need air soon. All right, let's go. I can't believe a piece. Well, man, that thing must have really exploded. A piece that large all the way out this far. Nope, nope, back to the surface. Refill all the tanks, please. All of them. Wow, look at that thing. It's massive. It's going to be tough trying to explore it all. I can't. Ugh. I need to get away from these guys. Is that another container? No, it's a rock. It's okay. We're going to wedge ourselves in here to get away from them. I don't think they can follow me. Whoa, what? Seamoth fragment? What is that? One of three. There's life pod 17. It's a little creepy down here. What is this? Creature egg? I, I don't really want to pick up anything's eggs. <laughs> if they could get any angrier, I don't want to find out. But it seems like that would be a good way to find out. PDA. More crew log. I'm going to have to read those at some point. Okay. All right. All right. right. Let's. We're just going to keep looking around. We're just going to keep looking around. This is a big piece of metal here. Nope. You know what? Actually, we're going to get some O2 first. Oh, well, it would be really nice if there was remaining. purple brain coral around that thing. I could stay down there longer. Almost makes me wish I had another tank. Almost. All right, let's see if we can find a way into this thing. Surely there's more goodness inside. Although, if there is an inside... No, it looks like there's definitely... Oh, here we go. Yep. This will work. This will work. All kinds of comm panels and stuff. Better have the scanner out just in case. Oh, yes! Another one! I'm a big fan. And, oh, look. They're all over the place here. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm happy that happy that I got it. Although it's looking like I'm not going to get much of anything else. Felt like I hit something else over here. Another one. I guess if I needed titanium, I could, could get a lot of titanium here with that. Oh, look at them all. Oh, jeez. But yeah, it's like that's all there's going to be in here. That's what it looks like. Well, that, and I got that one Seamoth fragment. I'm going to keep looking for more of that, though. Oh, look at all this. This area is just... wrecked. Am I going to be able to get out of this? What's going on here? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? This is not good. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen. I know. I know. Oh, it's like the graveyard of mobile vehicle bay fragments. They're everywhere, but I can't. Come on, you're air, aren't you? Aren't you? Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. There's nothing I can do. Oh, it's it's about to get a little dark in here. Ugh. No! Oh my goodness. Ah, we drowned. You died and lost some stuff. Yeah, all the salt. Okay, so I only lost the stuff it looks like that I picked up since my last little stop here in the in the life pod. Well, I hope they didn't take the... I hope they didn't take the fragments from me. That would be dirty. I'm sure they didn't. Deployables, right? Yes. Titanium ingot lubricant 
power cell. Well, let's make some of that. Yeah. Lubricant power cell. I have the power cells. Titanium ingot and a lubricant. Well, the lubricant I know comes from these uh, these clusters here on the creep vines. So we'll get three of those, and then I'm not sure of exactly what it takes to make a titanium ingot. I think it's a lot of titanium, but how much I'm not 100% sure of. Oh, I should not have taken my tanks with me. I'm only going to be able to... No, I'll be able to hold three. That, that'll work. One, two, three. One more. Thank you. Ugh, okay. You know what? Let's let's expedite. I want to make one of these. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Now we'll make the lubricant, and that'll clear up a lot of space in our inventory. And we'll look at what it takes to make an ingot. Titanium ingot, 10 titanium. Oh, that's easy. That's what? Three pieces of salvage. Easy peasy. So we'll just get us some salvage. Look at that. There's two pieces right there. Hmm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Can't wait to see what this bad boy can make. A little more salvage, please. Thank you. Another piece. Excellent. We'll just go right past those guys. I don't want to hang next to the gasopods. All right. Back on board. So we'll convert the salvage to titanium. And then once we have enough titanium, we'll convert it to a titanium ingot. And then we're going to make one of these. Oh, I wonder how much space that takes up. Looks... Oof. Took a little bit to craft it. Oh, it just takes up uh, a singular space. Okay, that's great. And a power cell. Excellent. I'd like a uh, mobile vehicle bay, please. That's right. Better spend a little bit of time crafting that. Oh, yes. All right. We're going to do this. Release vehicle bay. I, I that's, that's what I want to do. I want to do that. You're telling me nothing new. Okay. Release vehicle bay. Yeah, release it. Oh, yes. What? It's like something I ride on? Climb. Hold on. Climb up. Use vehicle bay. Oh, vehicles. Seamoth. Ingredients unknown. Oh. What? So I need... Okay. So I found one part. I need three more. Well, goodness, I hope this thing stays here and nothing happens to it. Hmm. I know I had an issue in my other game with things disappearing after I'd left and come back. Ooh, I have another message. This is Second Officer Keen, broadcasting to all surviving Aurora crew. Captain Hollister is gone. I have assumed command. Scans say there's dry land 750 meters south of the crash site. Your orders are to stay together, ensure your immediate safety, and then regroup at the rendezvous point. Good luck. This message will now repeat. Warning. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Downloading transmission origin coordinates. 750 meters south of the crash site. Dry land. So south of the crash site. Oh, what is all that? Maybe that's something. South of the crash site's on the other side of it. 
Congratulations, Survivor. You have just exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. South of the crash site. That's, that's going to be quite a ways away. Did they give me a signal? They did not. That's what they meant by signal corrupted. Should I go back to life pod 17? There was one fragment there. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, jumping for joy. Jumping for no good reason. I think in... Uh, well... I'm not sure. I know I want to eat. I know that. Okay. Let's, uh... Well, I guess, yeah, I guess we're going to work our way over towards Life Pod 17. We're just going to explore. See what we can find. That's disturbing. I would really like it if that would render. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm just going to explore and work my way over to Live Pod 17. We'll stop here for some air and hope they don't see me. I just want a little bit of air. Hopefully they can be interested in the prey that's swimming around and just ignore me. Sounds like they're eating little fish all around me, but I am safe. I'm okay. Where's life pod 17? Okay, so we're going to work our way in that direction. Oof. Be gone. I was hoping to explore a cave, but that's fine. How is it shallower here where the red grass is? Whoa. It's way shallow here. This is odd. Oh, goodness, this is practically dry land right here. Look how shallow this is. Oh, I'll take it. Some salt. Uh, it's like a little spire of some sort because it's got these big ravines on either side. I lost life pod 17. Okay, it's in that direction. We're still working our way there. I would like it to warm up before I go down all the way <laughs> to the bottom of that area. So I'm going to explore this area. It's a little shallower. And these hoverfish are easier to catch. You know, something I'm thinking. That sea moth fragment looked a lot like, yeah, metal salvage. I'm trying to remember what it looked like already. I'm going to have to review the video and take a closer look at it. But it's possible. I've gone past them before without even... Whoa, look at this. It's possible I've gone right by them before. Like something like this. And I wouldn't have even known it. Look at this. This goes way down here. This is awesome. Come on, purple brain coral. Oof. Look at this. Oh no, it's one of those parasites. Stay away. Wow, it just keeps on going. This is amazing. Getting deep now. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to have to come up for air soon. Can I even get to where I need to? Yeah, okay. Making sure there was air above me. Oh, you know what? I need Caution. to go now. 30 seconds of oxygen yep. remaining. 30 seconds of oxygen, and we were way down there. Ah. <sighs> wow. It's so cool, though. We fill our tank, we're going to go right back down. Ugh. 
Oh, I don't know what's to my left, though. It's really eerie. Oh! Sand shark. Oh, and I'm going through vines. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Okay, let's get the light out, please. Thank you. And look at this. We have another transition zone to this area. There was one of these on the other side as well. Look at the size of this salt formation. And again, we can't do anything with these large ones. What is this? Again, we can't do anything with it. Wow, it looks really cool, especially all lit up and glowing at night, but I don't think I'm ready for all that. Oh, we're going to have to surface again. Grab some more salt first. Seems like the salt is rather easy to get in this kelp Caution. area. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I mean, maybe one day when I can mine the large formations of materials, I'll be able to go to that little mushroom area and hit those big chunks of salt. For now, no such luck. Now let's let's stay out of that deep ravine over there. Let's let's cut over this way. We're going to start working our way towards life pod 17. Oh, I hear weird sounds. Oh, it's those parasites. I don't want any part of these parasites. Oh, snap. What am I doing? What is Oh. This is awesome. Look at this. Like this crazy cave formation. Oh man. See, I want to start. I want to start exploring some of these caves. We're gonna work our way towards Life Pod 17, though, as we said. But I am gonna keep my eye out for some purple brain coral while I'm down here. Although we aren't that deep, to be fair. We aren't that deep at all. And the sun's coming up. Wonderful. Here we are at the almost dry land. Wow, so this area here is really not that not that deep right next to where Life Pod 17 is. Look at all these weird ruts and carves into the landscape. It's so neat. Alright. Let's Let's, uh, I'm thinking I'm not going to go inside of the wreckage this time. I'm thinking that I'm just going to check around outside of it. That's where I found that one sea moth fragment that I did get. Oops! Right in front of me. And all the rest of them appeared to be, oh, that's not good. All the rest of them appeared to be mobile vehicle bay fragments. And there's really only so many of those you need in your life. So like, look at this, look at this. It's like another thing here inside of this box. Yes. Oh. No, this is what I want. Oh, this is another one. Yes. Do it. Yes. That's exciting. That's exciting. We're going to go back and do some of that. Get some salt, preserve some food. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen 30 remaining. seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. We're going to surface and we're going to head back. Head back to the life pod. Um, we're going to look at what it requires to make a sea moth. And then before we make it, actually, we're going to have to end that episode there. Or end this episode there. But that's okay. We're going to get back. We're going to check it out first. See how, see how realistic of a goal it is travel right along the surface. I haven't seen many uh, predators on the surface or anything really on the surface. Everything tends to hang down deep, so I feel pretty safe skimming across the water. We might have to go check out this dry land formation that we got broadcast on the messenger uh, com, com panel. This is marvelous. I'm excited. What I won't be excited is... Oof. 
I heard something that sounded a little scary. What I won't be excited about is if I have to change batteries out of this thing constantly. That's that's what I don't want. <gasps> oh, I went in the wrong thing. I need to check the... Yeah, oh, it's still here. Goody, goody, goody. I was only mildly worried it would disappear. No, just climb. I just want to climb. Thank you. Goodness. Use the vehicle bay. Seamoth. One titanium ingot, one power cell, two glass, and a lubricant. Well, that's easy. We're going to get that one next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Subnautica Episode 8. I hope you had fun, because as always, I sure did. And I'll see you next time. Take care.